Hello, dear students. The topic for today is workbook exercises. We are going to deal with vocabulary and the grammar topic that are present tenses. The first exercise is about the vocabulary of jobs we dealt with the previous lesson. Match the words to form job titles. We have the words, we have to match the word in both columns. And then you have to write the job title next to the tasks, the description of each job. For example, which takes picture of fish, which helps pilots fly, which designs rooms and which does dangerous scenes in films. Let's see the answers together. Underwater photographer, air traffic controller, interior designer, and the last one, a stuntman. Who takes pictures of fish is an underwater photographer. Who helps pilots fly? An air traffic controller does this. Who designs room is an interior designer. And who does dangerous scenes in films is a stuntman. If you remember from last lesson, we did some reading about some unusual people doing unusual jobs and having some extreme looks. Here we have another character doing something different. And here is a list of words you have to use in the text. Take a little time to read it, just skim read it at first, to see what is about and then where to put each of the words. Then we'll deal with the answer together. Can we go on with the answers? Let's read together. Van Venter is a sideshow performer who we meet backstage in his dressing room. Van is really weird. He has got pointy teeth like a vampire and a long forked tongue like a lizard. He has got tattoos all over his body and also wears red and green body paint. Don't miss its show. It is even stranger than he is. Let's go on with the other exercise. Here are some pictures. Look at each of them and then correct the sentences. Let's do the first model together. She is eating breakfast. No, she isn't eating breakfast. She is sleeping. The second picture. Bruno is playing football. Is Bruno playing football? They are watching a film. Correct the sentence. And the last one. They are cycling in the park. Ready for the answers? Let's see. Bruno isn't playing football. He is reading a book. Here we may revise also the replacement of a subject with a noun with a personal pronoun. They are watching a film. No, they aren't watching a film. They are playing basketball. They are cycling in the park. They are in the park, but they are not cycling. They are running in the park. Now, what is the difference between present simple and present continuous? In this exercise, you have to find the right choice for each set of verbs to make the sentence correct. Be very careful in the uses of present simple and present continuous. Let's see the answers together. Dorothy wants to become a nurse. Wants here is a stative verb. We start school at 9 a.m. every day. It's a habit or it's a thing that happens regularly. 
They believe what the teacher said. Here, believe is again a stative verb not normally used in the continuous tenses. Jake knows all the answers to the question. The train leaves at 6 p.m. every day except Sunday. It refers to future events but timetabled ones. Tony is moving to New York next month. Is something that is happening around the time of speaking or is a fixed future arrangement? And we are going out tonight is something we have arranged later tonight. Is a homework. You have to make the difference between present simple and present continuous by writing five things you do every weekend and five things you are doing this weekend. You have to use correct form of verbs in present simple for things you do regularly and present continuous for things you are doing at the time around the time of speaking. Thank you very much for your attention.